Okay guys, sorry can't make the DSI seminar, teaching in Wolverhampton, see you in December. Right, some things maybe we can look at another time, players, um, it's still the hip. Now, some people have trouble generating anything and some people can do it and if you've been doing it long enough you get it to work bang bang you got your wave it's all good too big a wave isn't practical and internal wave is what we want definitely we don't want to be doing any of that in a self-defense situation you just want the 5g boom so what i've discovered is and i'm using a dowsing rod what you can do is check to see if the guy's rooting so if you fire this hip you're going to generate some water element. It's going to run the bladder, the kidney meridians, and it's going to give you an energy field, and it makes you difficult to move. So, with a partner, you can go bang, and then the guys over here can check to see how resistant you are, wait a few seconds for the energy to dissipate, and the energy field to disrupt, and then you should be able to push because as a stance, this is pretty pathetic for launching something. Yeah, You're pretty much in balance. Um, but we know it works because it hurts the other guy. What I found is, and I'll use a dowsing rod, if you just twist, nothing happens. But if you drop and drop it in, twist drop it in, it goes. So, psoas muscle is doing the business on the kidney meridian. So if you can manipulate the psoas muscle without having to do that, you get the glowy hand just by going like that. Or like that. Or with a partner see if you're rooted so if i stand normal guy gives me a shove from over there i'm going to do that if i can manipulate the psoas interact with the kidney meridian generate some energy bring out a field he's not going to move me as easy that's why this is such a great stance for hitting even though it's not really a stance so then now we're building on an internal wave. You just go, uh, bang. Then we can eliminate the hip joint because it isn't the hip joint. We can also eliminate the shoulder because this ain't the shoulder, same as that, ain't the hip. That's the psoas, that's the trapezius. So again, you can do the same thing Manipulate the previous and then you'll get energy flow bladder meridian. Again, it'll make you stable. So you can go one, two, smack and see if it works. See if Newton's third law is going out the window. Because if you hit something, <clears throat> hopefully we're still in shock. If you hit something, that's going to happen. Unless you lean, obviously. But if you're rooted, the third law goes out the window. I can move back then a bit because <laughs> so I didn't do it. So, something to contemplate. Maybe this is a, a more practical way to be working towards an internal wave. Thank you very much.